Welcome to Florida Focus, a college football podcast. My name is Brandon, and I'm a lifetime Florida State Seminole fan. And I am Chris. I am a colossal Gator fan. <laughs> we are putting aside our differences as rivals to bring you the fantastic world of college football throughout the Sunshine State. Uh, Chris, today has finally arrived. We have all of our fan reactions in to if I were a five-star recruit, I would want this coach recruiting me. So... I think I speak for both of us. This is very exciting, and I can't wait to dive in. This is a great question. Really great question. Yes. Now, this is current ones, right? Current coaches? Current coaches, yes. That was the only stipulation we put on this, and we said not even have to be a Florida coach. So we got some that are outside the state for sure. Yeah, okay. Awesome. Yes. Looking forward to uh, (laughs) discussing this. Absolutely. So uh, the first fan that we have that sent in uh, their – Answer was Lynn. She is a Noel fan. So let's see what she had to say. So if I were a five-star recruit, I would want to be recruited by Jim Harbaugh. Um, he just seems like one heck of a coach, not only uh, on the field, but off the field. Um, I know that he has gone as far as to – have a sleepover wearing all Michigan pajamas for a recruit that said he wasn't going to Michigan. But regardless, he was like, no, 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 we're going to spend time together. All-nighter, playing video games, walks in with a pizza. Like, that that's just, it's crazy. And I think it's hilarious. And he's dedicated to trying to get these kids, whether they want to go there or not. And I think that that's dedication. Um, it just, it's, also, just fun sounding. So, that's who I would want to be recruited by. All right, thank you, Lynn. So, uh, what is your take on her wanting Jim Harbaugh as a recruiter? Yeah, she's she's uh, spot on. Like he he looks like a guy who is going to at least try to have fun. And um, yeah, I, I he was one of the first ones that came into my mind. To be honest, like just as a kid being recruited, yeah, he looks like he's trying to be cool and hip, um, and it comes off dorky sometimes. But <laughs> he's trying to meet them where they're at and and have fun with it. So, yeah, I think it's a really great choice and and uh, good reasons too. Yes, very fun stuff. I don't think I even knew that story until she said that. So I'm glad she yeah. shared. <laughs> I was not surprised one bit. When no, he yeah. <laughs> like, that sounds exactly like something he would do. Yep. Exactly. All right. Uh, the uh, next answer came in from uh, Mike. I don't think he said this, but he is a Florida State fan. If I was a five-star recruit, I'd like to be recruited by Ed Orgeron of the LSU Tigers because he really knows how to pepper the gumbo. Take care. Oh, th- thanks, Mike. That Pepper the gumbo? Yeah. Really? Okay. Well. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, as someone who who likes food and my gut shows that I like food, this is a good choice. <laughs> um, for that reason, I I I think though I after the meal I would get so annoyed because I don't understand what he's saying. Yeah, that's that's I, unless you're from Louisiana or that region. Like I would be so confused as to, when I hear his press conferences, I'm like, "What did he just say?" <laughs> yeah. Um. So I don't know if I could how long that recruiting process would last for me. I'm like, "Hey, coach, let's just text." Um. <laughs> I know you're two feet away from me, but let's just text. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I uh, I don't know that I fully agree with that, but I I understand the fun that comes with the LSU name and. I, for me, if I were a five-star recruit, it would be more about the school and the NFL talent they produce. The head coach, yeah, you know, you could sometimes take it or leave it. He's he's definitely kind of fun and always enjoyed his job, and so that would appeal to me for sure. Yeah, well, hey, the question was what coach do you want recruited, not true. what school. Yeah, so that's that's why I wouldn't be on board with him necessarily. But you know, if he yeah. makes a mean gumbo, then oh, so right, I'll give that a try. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. So next fan is Jesus, who sent in his answer to his question. Hi, my name is Jesus. Um, the college coach I would want to play for, without a doubt, would be Herm Edwards. Um, the man has NFL experience. He can get me prepared for the league, which is what my ultimate goal would be. 
On top of that, he he's a motivator. He knows how to motivate his players. That's exactly what I'd be looking for. I need someone that's going to not just motivate me, motivate the team. And he's a people person. He cares about his team. He cares about the players that he's putting out there on the field. That's that's what you can ask for, a family man, a person that's going to go out there and not just say it, but he's going to do it, and he's going to put it all on the line just like he expects you to do the same. So give me Herm Edwards all day, without a doubt. All right. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. Uh, Herm Edwards, good NFL talent developer. I That's a very good perspective on that. Yeah, he's – it's always intense, though. I would have to, you'd always have to be on your toes with him, um, and always paying attention because he's one of those guys that look right into your soul and tell you <laughs> a life into your soul. Um, no, but that's a really good, really good choice. Because if I was a, a parent of a kid who's being recruited, I would want someone like Herm Edwards coaching my son for sure. Yes, and he proved me wrong, and probably a lot of the media too, because you saw a guy who hadn't coached in a long time, clearly had the NFL experience, but not the college, and he went in. I mean, they had you know a bowl season his first year, mm-hmm. but the biggest thing, Jesus, he was pointing out is the NFL talent. He's gonna, he knows exactly what those coaches are going to want right. the next level. Right, right. He's been an analyst. He's been in the league. Yeah, he knows all about the NFL. If one of your major things is getting to the next level. He's a great, great coach for that. Yep. And if I'm a five star, that's the goal, right? Yep. 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 Perfect. All right. Continuing on, uh, the fun just continues to roll in. We have Jared. Now, obviously, a lot of you are going to recognize Jared's voice. He's been a guest on the show three times thus far, including earlier this year. So let's hear from him. If I am a five-star recruit, uh, what two coaches do I want recruiting me the most? Number one, easy, without a doubt, best, most entertaining coach to be recruited by in the country is Mike Leach. Uh, We're going to talk about pirates. We're going to talk about pirate history, probably throw in some Vikings. We're going to talk about pirate swords. We're going to talk about uh, the Lubbock wind. We're going to talk about what it's like rain and mud, what to do on a first date. Uh, Mike Leach, by far and away, the number one coach in America that I want recruiting me. Number two was a little tricky for me, but I'm going to have to go with Dabo Swinney. Uh, Not a guy that I'm a particular fan of and definitely not a fan of Clemson, but every recruit that you read an interview with or report from that's being recruited by Clemson always cites how cool Dabo is um, and what a great program and what a good culture they have up there. So for me, I would have to pick Dabo uh, as my second. Excellent. Yeah, I'd actually have forgotten that at one point we had asked for two coaches, so thank you. Lee, okay, so Leach, yes. Yeah. Uh, just. Ab- <laughs> yes. I'm trying, yes. To, I'm trying yes. to breathe here. Just like Harbaugh, Leach has that really crazy approach, and yeah, Pirates, you can hash on some of that. Yeah. I would want to, I you know, I would want to, to him recruit me, and I would say, hey, coach, take me to Kegel's, Kegel's Steakhouse. <laughs> um, and... I just want I, – even if I have zero intent on going to his school, I don't care what school, I'm putting him on my list of places I'm going to um, take my official visit to because mm-hmm. I just want to have lunch with him <laughs> at Kegel Steakhouse and just talk about life. Not even talk about X's and O's at all. I just want to have a conversation with him. And at this, at this point, the, the media knows this, and they just ask him questions like, you have any wedding advice? Or they, they're they just prodding and asking. And you know what? Keep it coming. Don't stop it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's yeah. Oh, great choice. Great choice. Um, <laughs> with the old pirate himself. Absolutely. And then Dabo Sweeney was the second choice. Yeah. That's uh, – obviously, they have a lot of fun there. And, yeah. And, you know, they have a slide in their football yeah. facility. Yeah. But the championships, having fun while winning, yeah, that's that's yeah. Uh, that's a hard combination to get. Yeah, and you know, with him, he, he seems genuine. He really does. He seems like he he does care about you, and that um, you will quickly become family. I mean, I, I don't know teams use that thing. You know, we are family. Your family, this and family that. But I, I really feel it's real with him and his coaching staff. So yeah, I, that's a good choice. Perfect. All right. And we had one more submission. Uh, this is from Adam. Adam also, uh, along with the recruiting question, wanted to weigh in with just a general recruiting recap for Florida State. So we appreciate that, Adam. Thank you so much. So let's listen to what he had to say. Hello, guys. My name is Adam, and I'm an FCU grad and fan. 
Uh, Brandon has taught me much about FSU football before I was able to go to school there. Um, I am a straightforward kind of guy, and I don't like to be sold a bunch of lies. So, honestly, without any fandom, I think I would respond the most to Willie Taggart recruiting me. Everything I have heard about his recruiting methods is he is very straightforward and no-nonsense when talking to his recruits and families. Also, he connects to the recruits on a more personal level than other coaches. But on the flip side, it would be interesting to hear the sales pitch of Lane Kiffin. He seems to be the opposite of Taggart in the state of Florida. Also, I wanted to give my perspective on the FSU recruiting class. I do not, I do not follow recruits on an individual basis. I like to listen and read to various experts on FSU recruiting from like the Rivals Network and SP Nation and ESPN and form my own opinion. Even before the events of this past weekend, I was satisfied with FSU's recruiting class. Coach Taggart sounded confident in not only the recruits that he got this year, but also that things confident of things that might still be in the works. Um, I was told by a rival's recruiting expert last week um, that he heard Justin Travis's waiver to transfer from Louisville to Florida State should be approved in the next few weeks. Uh, Then we got Alex Hornibrook to transfer as a grad transfer from Wisconsin to Florida State this past weekend. So if Travis's waiver comes through, FSU will have three scholarship quarterbacks, two that have started seasons for Power 5 schools, and another that has competed for a starting job for a Power 5 school. Uh, Finally, everybody likes to focus on the more sexy positions of like cornerback and quarterback, Um, but I think the linebackers that we FSU has recruited this year is going to have the most impact on FSU's uh, upcoming season. FSU doesn't have very good linebackers right now, and um, if everything is to believed, these recruits can really fly down the field and hit like a truck. I love listening to the podcast, guys, and the time you take to cover all the teams in Florida. Keep it up and go Noles. All right. So he gave it to there, Taggart, and then, uh, of course, Kiffin. So, yeah, the straightforwardness of Taggart, that's that's kind of what I'm hearing as well. He's he's big emphasis on family also. And then, yeah, who wouldn't want to hear what Kiffin has to say, right? <laughs> I don't know if I can get on the lane train. <laughs> <laughs> he's fun from a distance. I don't know if I want to be okay. <laughs> around it. Um, Taggart's interesting. I always – you only hear good things as far as his ability to rec- – so, so um, that'd be interesting just to see what what he's all about when it comes to recruiting. Yes. Why why he gets this uh, reputation as a good recruiter? Yep. And I'm I'm assuming that's going to turn Florida State into some victories pretty soon. So you know, good for him. And then uh, just a side note. I mean, he had mentioned that the Jordan Travis waiver is on the DL going to go through. So if he predicted that, then uh, good for us for having that knowledge. And uh, if yeah. that happens, then you heard it here first. <laughs> All right. Uh, I know Noel, news. Yeah, okay. Noel fans are really rejoice if that uh, ends up being the case. So good for us. Excellent. So, of course, we've heard from the fans, Chris. Now it is your turn. If you were a five-star recruit, who would you want recruiting you and why? All right. So I'm going give to you, give you my thought process before I come to my conclusion. My initial, like I said earlier, my initial thought, um, Harbaugh popped in into my head. Um, and then it kind of went to Saban just out of curiosity. Like, um, he, I mean, he's one of the greatest college football coaches um, there is. Undoubtedly. And and I, just, I would kind of like to see what he is like up close, personal, just curiosity, like the man, the myth, the legend. Like, <laughs> you know, just what is he like, um, you know, behind the cameras and away from the podium. Because what what is it that gets all these talented players to Alabama? Um, so I almost went with him, 
But I'm going to go with Mike Gundy. Oh, yes. Just so I can see that gorgeous mullet up close. <laughs> and I think that we would go, we would ride somewhere with in a Corvette with a top down just so I can see it flowing <laughs> up close. Because that thing is a thing of beauty. Um, and I would ask him, hey, what's your gender and what's your age? <laughs> and I just want to see what he, if, he, if he gets it and if he does it. <laughs> if he uh, gets it. Of course, yeah, I, so, yeah. I, I get it. Yes. I, okay, good. You get it. All right. Good. Yeah, yeah. As long as you get it. it I don't think you caught me off fantasy. guard with the mullet, so I was recovering, trying to catch my breath. <laughs> But he's so from the mullet jab. Okay. But the uh, the iconic I'm a man, I'm forty clip. Uh when yes. that happened, I think in two thousand seven, I was like, You're set for life, man. I love you forever. You can do nothing yep. wrong. Yeah, oh absolutely. Um so I would just like to I just kind of like to hang out with the mullet. He seems like a a fun guy. Any guy that embraces a look like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you gotta you gotta think he's kind of a, a cool dude. So yeah, I'm I'm going Mike Gundy all the way. Yeah, hey, nice choice. I mean, and you have a guy who's loyal to his school. He was their quarterback. Yeah. Uh, he had star set. I think he was the quarterback when Barry Sanders was there, and or Thurman Thomas. I could be off on the yeah. years, but man, uh, what a fun approach to the game. And yeah, you're not gonna win a whole lot of Big Twelve championships, but you're gonna have fun the whole time there. Yeah, absolutely. And you know that if, if anyone messes with you, he's got your back. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, even if other coaches are getting me their play, he gets some in their face too. So yep. uh, no one's immune to his wrath. Uh, playful mm-hmm. wrath, I should say. Yeah, yeah. Good choice. I did not see that coming, Chris. <laughs> no one sure. ever does. No one ever <laughs> sees the mullet come. You should see the mullet, but you never... Uh, very cool. Well, actually... Uh, my pick, we'll go ahead and move on to that. If I were a five-star recruit and I, I tossed around some interesting coaches here and there, but I actually agree with one of Jared's choices and that would be Dabo Sweeney. You know, it's, it's hard to deny a guy who has, you know, puts faith first as you and I both do, um, has a great family atmosphere. The culture is the biggest thing. They have fun while they win. And, you know, sometimes when you see a nice guy like that, you're like, okay, they don't, they're not all about winning and they just want to do this and do that. But no, they, they want to win and they do that. So, you know, when he was hired back in, I think, what was it, 2008, somewhere around there, mid season after Tommy Bowden was let go, I didn't have any clue. I don't think anyone did that this is the coach and the program that would come 10 years later. Mm-hmm. So, also a guy, <clears throat> excuse me, you know, he wears camo pants, he wears a sweater during the game <laughs> you know he has fun like this year when they found out he was going to the cotton bowl he put on a big texas hat you know right. he's like i never i never been to uh, that stadium before the the nfl talent he produces you know guys are going to the nfl and taking that next step in their career so that was my yeah. number one pick that's a, that's a good good choice you can't go wrong with Dabo. uh i do agree with all the fun factors of the other ones though with the the leech the kiffin the <laughs> Uh, the Harbaugh's of the world, and 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 God bless them for being in the sport, man. That's what makes it yes. entertaining for sure. Yeah, absolutely, man. Leach, though, <laughs> like the it's like the Gary Busey of college football coaches, <laughs> man. Just just out there, but I love it. Great yeah, analogy. Uh, that is oh, <laughs> Gary Busey makes me want to go dude's watch. Hilarious. Yeah, watch some of his stuff now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, well, this this was a lot of fun for me, and I hope the fans yeah. had fun with it too. So I'm gonna try and come up with some other things that we can do, and and Chris and I uh, will try and shoot out some other questions. You guys can get involved with the show as well. Yeah, um, yeah, absolutely. Remind yeah. fans, Chris, how these submissions were sent in, and how they can uh, send us any feedback going forward. All right, <laughs> let's start off with FloridaFocusPodcast.com. Start, and then you can find us in many. Um, outlets, Facebook and YouTube, Florida Focus Podcast, Twitter at Florida Focus Pod. Um, please email us any your um, any suggestions, thoughts on um, coaches, um, some maybe that we we've missed. I'm pretty sure we we did at Florida Focus Podcast um, at Yahoo.com. 
um, Instagram FL Focus Pod, and please support us on our Patreon account. Thank you guys so much for everything. Um, as promised, going forward, our next episode, we are going to give you a one of our fave five list by popular demand. Those will return. Uh, yeah. And I had a lot of fun doing this one. So yeah, we hope too. that you guys uh, hit subscribe uh, for the show, and that way you get the, the episodes as soon as they come out. Yes, and all the star ratings you can you can find. As many stars as you can get, give us those stars. Yes, yes, please do. All right. <laughs> so thanks again for listening. This is Brandon saying go Knowles. Chris, go Gators.